What's up, people? Welcome back to another little YouTube banger. I've got a good one for you today. This is a, a very short snippet of um, a much more in-depth and more detailed video. Um, what am I on about? Intro YouTube intros are the hardest thing in the world. YouTube intros are harder than recording and playing drums. Um, anyway, hope you've been good. I've just practice the drums for like 15, 20 minutes. And then I just shot this video that you're about to see. So if you want to see the full thing, sign up to Patreon. That is the one. That's what I intended on doing three minutes ago. Talking to the camera, mate, honestly. Woo me, yes, uh, woo me. That was just what I mean. What's woo me? Why am I saying it? Anyway, um, I talked through the last chorus, so the double chorus in Year 3000 by Busted, and I talk you through my drum parts and what I'm doing and my thinking behind it. So here's a little short snippet. Hope you enjoy it, mate. Hope you've been well. And yeah, enjoy it, man. Let me know what you thought down below. Yeah. Woo! I love a little bass slide. And to match that... I did a little tom, mate. I did a little tom instead of a cymbal. Ooh, it just matches with that quite nicely. And the cymbal would have just like made this gap, not a gap, because it would have been ringing out. So yeah, a little just uh... do, 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 da, do, do, do. one e and a two e and a one two three four. Yet yeah, again. Mate, when I was like, I'm, I'm just playing metal all the time back in the day, I always finish, finished every single section on the one. But like in pop, it's always on the four. One, two, three, four. On the left hand, people, left hand. Um, so yeah, we just had the bridge. Now we're coming to the the, the big um, drop, basically. That was terrible English. There we go, hang on. Been to the year 3000. Not much has changed, but they lived underwater. Yeah. And you great, great. Also, this is the Jonas Brothers, because they collab with this song. I don't know if I mentioned that in the last video. I probably did, but that is not busted. That is the Jonas Brothers singing right there. Been to the year 3000. Not much has changed, but they lived underwater. Yeah. And you great, great, great. See, now you're getting like. Starting to build here with more things coming into it. And then we kick in. So uh, on the record, I believed it was just like a simple drum roll type thing. Do you know what I mean? Like nothing crazy. Ooh, little roll into it. Smack it, mate. Smack it. Yeah, cool. So that is, uh, let's li listen to this section. Got my Invisalign are killing today. Shout out the Invisalign wearers, mate. Honestly, it's like painful. Here we go. Let's listen to this. Cool. So I think like um, a drummer's normal sort of like, okay, uh, a drummer's normal, what's the word? Want for lots of feels comes in, in this bit because you're building, you're building, you're building. And then like your adrenaline kicks in. You're like, yeah, I'm going to give it loads of feels and loads of craziness. Like, and you can do that in the second repeat of the chorus. But the problem is with doing that is a lot of other things come into play on the last chorus. Like you're having a lot of vocal ad libs, which basically means like um, little lines here and there that aren't in the previous chorus and little embellishments. Um, embellishments is the best way to describe it. Um, a lot of like, yeah, yeah. I mean, I might have to cut that out because I can't believe I sung down the microphone to you all there. But uh, let's listen to like, let's solo. He said, I've been to the year 3000. Not much has changed, but they lived underwater. And your great, great, great granddaughter is pretty fine. She's pretty fine. He's 
Yeah, a lot of like ad-libs basically. So you don't want to get in the way of that. And then also production wise, more stuff will come into it as well. Like where are we? Yeah, sick. Anyway, my point being, don't don't jump at doing all the feels like in in the first half of the the doubled chorus. Just let it breathe. Like your time will come. Um, yeah, it's really important to do that in the in the first chorus. But yeah, drum wise, like just keeping it the same as all the other choruses, mate. Just on the hi hats because I think it sounds nicer. Cheeky double on the kick. Little double on the hi hat. Boom. Okay, going into the second half of the last chorus. Yet again, the same feel, and then also removing the kicks with the build up on the snare, but smacking into it as well. Like I said in the last video, really dig into that. You want like a big dynamic difference when you're, when you're building up, when you're using these fields that, that their whole point is to build. So you can see it here. I, I land with the one and then I remove the kicks to build up. Um, and then the biggest thing, the biggest change here, mate, is uh, essentially I'm, I don't know why I said essentially then, that threw me off. What I mean is uh, I'm moving on to the chorus to give it that... No, I'm not. I'm moving on to the crash. I got there in the end. I'm moving on to the crash symbol to give it that extra lift. And this is one of the many reasons why I think like playing choruses on the hi-hat gives you way more options. Like you're not basically giving away all of your dynamic range straight away. Do you know what I mean? Like it's a really nice lift going from to that, you're just bringing it up. And what I love to do and what I love when producers and bands and songwriters and artists and whatever you want to call them, people who make music essentially, I don't know why I listed every single drop roll them. Um, but this is the last chorus, this whole section. And what I love is in the last repeat of it. So the second half, there's more stuff added, but you're not taken away. So you're not taken away from like the groove, the feel or the melody too much. You're just embellishing those bits. And it's like, it's your last chance to dance sort of thing. Like the last time you're going to hear that chorus, you just want to give it those little nuances and like little flavors that you didn't get previously that keeps your ear listening and, and go, oh, that was that was cheeky. Love that. And there's a little bass line in here that wasn't in the original that uh, Phil Gornell did, the producer. And it's so, so nice. And that's what I mean. And as a drummer, those are the things that are really, really important to look out for, mate. Like, so, so important. Um, like, don't worry about like doing loads of crazy feels or like making it really complex or taking away too much just move your right hand from the hi-hat over to the crash cymbal and it's, it can give it such a lift and a little embellishment. And and so there's a few embellishments. I'm moving over to the crash cymbal and then the double kick that I do here, that one, I now do that on the floor time in the second half. So let's give the second half of the chorus, the last chorus, a little cheeky listen, shall we? Oh, I don't, sorry. I, I still do that, but it's the bit after. Yeah, it's the roll into the next one. B -b Boom. And a one. Yeah, sick. Yeah, and then also I'm going bit of one and two on the cymbals. But that one and two, because yet again, it fits with the guitar. So if we mute the drums, which we have done here, and then mute the bass, sorry, solo the bass, and then the guitar should, you should be able to hear it. Yeah, da -da -da -da. you're just going with that guitar line. You hear how loud that is, like you don't really want to get in the way of that too much. Sorry, I keep on stopping it, but I just 
I love this stuff, mate. Music is so good, isn't it? Drums and music. Give me it, baby. Give me it. Bass change. That bass change is flipping cheeky, mate. That was one of my that like talk about the perfect perfect example of like adding but not taking away too much from the original. You're just spicing it up a little bit, evolving it a little bit, giving the listener like, oh, that was cheeky, but like not taking away all the things that people love about the song and have done for many years. You know what I mean? That bass change is amazing, mate. So good. Anyway, right. So we are now on the last chorus. There's more like ad libs coming in and loads of different things. Production's going crazy. You can see it here. There's more stuff added. I love this stuff, mate. Like drums, music, like the, the two sides of a drummer. You've got the drummer where you want to like do some cool stuff, rudiments, like get good, become the drummer that's in your head and practice and geek out over little chops and stuff and grooves. And then the other side of it where you're a musician, you're talking about choices instead of like rudiments and choices instead of feels and, and what not to play as well as what to play and like movements and symbol choices and all those kind of things. So I love this stuff, mate. More to come inside the Patreon page and here. Short snippets here only. Um, I need to pay the mortgage, you know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, if you like what you see, mate, please check out my Patreon page. That's enough of selling and begging, do you know what I mean? I'm not begging. Like I said, I'm not begging. Nah, no way. <laughs> Just promoting. I'm going to leave the video there. I don't know what I'm on about today. Thank you very much for watching, mate. Have fun on the drums. Most important thing. And uh, I'll see you in the next one, mate. See ya later.